Calvary family. Pastor Ruth here to give just kind of the Tuesday encouragement and recap of the sermon. Um, Sunday sermon was so good and I almost kind of feel like this video was a setup because how am I supposed to just pick a few things when if I could I would just spend the whole Tuesday encouragement and just have you guys replay the video of Pastor Dan's sermon because it was so good and it spoke to so many levels of things that families and people in this country are going through and I really just enjoyed it a ton. Uh, one of my favorite things about the sermon is that we also use the same uh, format for our kids and our youth. So while uh, those of you that were there or listening online were learning about Exodus, uh, so were we in Kids Church. And it's really cool to teach the kids um, about ex the Exodus and, you know, how God delivered the Israelites from slavery and how God is always with them and is nothing is going to stand in the way between God's love for them, not even a giant sea, and how that's still true for them today. Nothing's going to stand in the way of God's love. And then to... At a later time listen back and watch the sermon at home uh it's just really cool to see the parallels and also how you know your your students the students of calvary are, are look, getting the same message and one of the things i loved about pastor dan's sermon is was especially when he talked about how you know there was a shorter way the, it looked like there could have been an easier way but the path that they were on the path that moses and god led them to turned out to be kind of tough, actually really tough. And I think Pastor Dan did a great um, job of just letting us know and reminding us, you know, this is a familiar story. We have all of the foresight. We know what's going to happen. But in the moment, it was faith testing and challenging. And I just look at all of the things that we have gone through as a country and as a community and as a family and on a personal level, like within my own heart and mind and, and struggling with things and working through things and saying, God, there had to be an easier way. There had to be an easier way to get people to care about each other. There had to be an easier way for people to see that equality matters and that skin color shouldn't be a determining factor and that that people should be treated fair and just and kind there had to be an easier way and i think that this story really encouraged me and reminded me that sometimes we got to get through the tough so that god can be glorified both both personally in our lives and outside of our lives to non-believers i think this right now and the past year has been a huge opportunity for the church to really step up and show what they believe and show that we trust God. And even though things are tough right now, or they have been tough or challenging, we trust God to be a way maker. And I just, I was so touched by the sermon that Pastor Dan did. I mean, I'm getting emotional thinking about it because there were so many parts that mattered in my circle, in my family, in my household. And then I can see that, you know, growing out these things matter in our community, in Cleveland, in America, and I just, if you have not watched the sermon, I feel like I'm not doing it justice by just kind of talking about how great it was because I really want to encourage you if you haven't watched it or if you're, if you were there or you were listening online but you were a little distracted, you know, you got kids running around at home or, you know, you're thinking about the Browns game, uh, I just, I want to encourage you to watch it again again online uh, you can find it on our website or our youtube page i'm probably going to do the same thing because it was just so good and i i think i'd find something new each time i'd listen to it it really did i mean it's hard for me to articulate properly how much it was an impact and so i just will leave you with god is a way maker and it's tough sometimes and you know sometimes we really have to put our faith and where we're going and where God's asking us to go, but there is nothing that's going to stop him from delivering us, from giving us freedom, from, you know, saving us from what trap and horrible spot we're in, just like he did with the Israelites. And so um, I'm rambling a little bit, but I really want to encourage you, if you have not watched it, please go watch it. It's really an uplifting, encouraging, kind of tough, challenging message that will put you in position for victory, put you in a position to endure the tough things, put you in a position to celebrate the wins and to trust God that he will make a way. So if you haven't watched it, go ahead and definitely do that. A little quick note, the Browns won on Sunday, which is super exciting. It was a crazy game. I was sitting there with Ian and I was just like so many times, I just kept saying, is this really happening? 
Like, did this really just happen? Did that really just happen in the first 15 seconds of the game? Like, is this really happening? So, um, I want to encourage you guys, if you're feeling so inclined, go ahead and wear your fan gear again for this Sunday. You will definitely see Ian and Brown's gear. Um, I'm a Giants fan, so I'm, you may see me in Giants gear, but I think Ian's really going to try to push me to be in Brown's gear to show support. Uh, I'm sure you'll see Pastor Dan and several others in Brown's gear. Um, it's an exciting time. But I think something that was really cool is, you know, we were, you know, celebrating the Browns and encouraging them on. But that's not the impact that Sunday is going to have for me moving forward. You know, I'm always going to remember that playoff game with the Browns. But what I'm really going to remember and what's really going to be taken away is that message. So again, definitely listen to it if you haven't. Um, it was super awesome. I'm really excited for Pastor Dan's sermon next Sunday. And then right below my excitement for that is the Browns game. It's like, you know, the sermon next Sunday, whether it's Pastor Dan or Pastor David or whoever preaches, it's kind of like the sermon, then the Browns. But uh, we're going to be encouraging you guys to just, you know, come in your Browns gear, show some support for the Browns. But then ultimately, you know, we want to show some love to Jesus, right? And the awesome sermon that we had on Sunday. So uh, thank you guys so much. And I cannot wait to see you on Sunday. Have a good one.